There is an esoteric teaching that again never came from the East, which that women are actually spiritually different to men. Um, this is not really understood. They have a different, as much as they have a different physical body, a different psychological body, they also have a different spiritual body. And they have, my teacher used to say, a woman is always pure, like the earth. She is always pure. And they have this particular spiritual substance that has to do with the mystery of creation. And it, it's in a woman's spiritual centers, in a woman's chakras from birth. And part of its sacred purpose is to enable her to bring a soul into incarnation, which <laughs> is both natural but also actually quite spiritually complicated. <laughs> Um, a rabbit doesn't have to do this. Um, it is just part of the instinctual world. But a woman has the capacity to give a soul an experience of this physical plane. So she has in her spiritual centers a certain substance that can bring the worlds together. So the spirit and matter are can be united in, in her womb. It's a very beautiful process to see how this happens from conception onwards, in particular after the first three months, the soul arrives after the first three months of pregnancy. And this means that she has a deep, instinctual, natural understanding of the spiritual nature of creation that a man doesn't. And a woman has this spiritual connection to the earth and to the, also to the sacred centers within the earth, because instinctually a woman and the earth are one. It is like it used to be understood that um, you know, sexuality was a sacred mystery that belonged to the feminine. A, woman, a man was always kind of on the outside, which is why traditionally in the temples, in the temple, it was in the, the temple priestesses or would initiate a man into sexuality. It's always the woman that initiated the man. Um, and part of the tragedy of our Western civilization is because of what happened in the patriarchal era, not only have men forgotten this aspect of the feminine, women have also forgotten it for themselves. They've forgotten this, the, the sacred nature of their own instinctual self. And the ancient feminine initiations that um, took place for thousands of years, they were never written down, They're imaged in the myth of Demeter and Persephone, um, they have also been forgotten, so they're not passed from mother to daughter, uh, and women aren't initiated into their own sacred connection to the earth, to creativity, to, to life. And so a certain um, regenerative potential that belong to women, that, that they also <laughs> they also kept for the earth, because again, there is no difference, um, has been forgotten. And so both women are impoverished and also the earth is impoverished. And my hope, or I think it's also a need, is that in the next 100 years or 200 years, enough women will regain that understanding, will regain that instinctual wisdom, will, will regain its connection to the creative centers within creation, that a certain healing can take place because the patriarchy has not only damaged women, it's also damaged this connection between humanity and the earth. So it is really the women have this deep wisdom within them and hopefully if enough women reconnect with that in the right way and understand its relationship to the earth, then a, a certain healing can take place and from this healing, the earth can once again be nourished by the spiritual substance that women carry within their spiritual body, as happened at the time of the priestess and also in the, the first few centuries, even after the patriarchy, there was still a, a deep, it still continued. Um, and, and then something can be reborn. 
I don't see how this can happen without the participation of women because women give birth, men don't. <laughs> and I think women are needed to help the earth to regenerate and help the earth to give birth to a new cycle of its existence. And if this doesn't happen, then a certain regression will take place. Again, sadly, because so much spirituality in the West has become personalized, it's about our own individual personal journey, that essential element has become lost. So women, many women explore their spirituality without understanding the importance of their instinctual spiritual connection to the earth and to the cycles of creation and why that is so much so needed at this time. 